My experience here today has been absolutely wonderful. I've had an opportunity to connect with some other principals that I've uh, only seen on Instagram who share great ideas and having that opportunity to talk to them here in this um, more intimate setting and bounce ideas off of people that I've never met before has felt really, really good. Um, what I love about the EdCamp model is really that, that grassroots nature of the sessions. Folks really are, are, are suggesting and attending what they, what they want to go to. It's really by choice. Uh, the beauty of the EdCamp is that it's decided that day what sessions are important so you're able to build in real time what is on people's minds and, and what they want to learn about and then it's also the law of two feet that applies during the day so if you're in a session that isn't meeting your needs or there's something else that you'd like to pursue at the same time you're able to attend that i'm here to sort of guide the discussion the exploration of how you really go about initiating a successful mobile learning initiative uh, just a little bit well, I think on how to allow teachers to be more involved in developing of their personal professional development and instead of just having, again, just lecture, 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 PowerPoint, 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 you actually get feedback ahead of time from the staff to find out some things that they want to learn about and give them options to choose from and let them go and be the professional learners that they are. It, it's great. Uh, it was more than what I expected too and amazing how we can just come together and uh, you know figure out what it is that uh, what, what sessions happen. Like it was my first time seeing an empty schedule and uh, with the amount of people that are actually here it's uh, it's crazy how nothing is put into play until the people come together. Today one thing that I'm excited about is the opportunity for a student voice to be infused and so um, Jason Markey shared out that if we're in a conversation or in a session and we like student input we just need to tweet that to the hashtag and include light and pride and students will be able to come and be part of that conversation so that's like a, a new twist today that I'm really excited about. Um, you know that's something that we've always done at our camp so this is the third one we've hosted so I can really only speak to those um, and we always make sure we have students here both just to lend a kind of a, a hand touring people around the building and showing them our lunches but more importantly we offered for them to join sessions and I know in several of the sessions they joined the conversation they gave teachers and administrators feedback on their ideas um, and we even had a former student present at the end so we, we, we try to be as inclusive as students as possible and really try to kind of walk the walk in doing that when we host events there's a need to build bridges uh, and build community between the between all the schools um, and uh, it, it would be amazing if people would, you know, take time to understand each other in new ways. I think if we took time to learn, learn, learn each other, like, you know, then, I mean, we wouldn't just see a community change in the schools, but also in the neighborhoods and things like that. Um, so I think one of the things that I'm most proud of is taking a more of an empathetic view uh, and looking at it through a lens of empathy to, through the student experience. Uh, so we've really kind of embarked on design thinking in our school and using that within our uh, both designing student learning experiences and professional development experiences. And something I, I think we're, we're just kind of using last year as a springboard into this year to really capture that uh, perspective for both students and staff when we're designing experiences for them. How many of you believe that, that youth, that students are the future, are the future of tomorrow? Give, give a hand clap. <laughs> and this is the battle because I disagree completely because it's it's the students who can make the biggest difference and change today today and it's us i'm 20 years old 18 man if you if i would have got a group of my friends to move man imagine how powerful how powerful we could have been in our own educational system that's crazy to think about